coach excited about this uh, season, especially being able to play your home games on campus again? No question. It's so great to be back moving into Poly. We'll be practicing there. The plan is on the 29th of October, so 19 days from now in East County. And uh, it's just really exciting. Uh, I don't know how many of you have had the opportunity to follow it online and follow the progress, but it's just beautiful. And uh, it's going to be great for our players, our fans. Uh, just really excited to be back on campus after uh, being gone the entire last season. How do you feel about playing the renovated public school Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I mean, it's a great feeling. And, you know, it was tough last year. Uh, the logistics of just being down in Orange County, being at the sports arena, not really having a, a true on-campus home site. Our, our players last year handled it really well. I give them a lot of credit. It's very difficult. But, not only to be back home on campus, but to be in a brand new building. Because when you go in there, you'll see it is like a brand new building. And I, I think it's going to be great for the next 50 years. When are you, when are you settling into like the locker rooms and everything at Poly? Uh, that'll come when we move in for uh, the 29th. Uh, the plan right now is that we'll practice in there on the 29th uh, and then be in there from that point forward. Uh, and so uh, the locker room's beautiful. The locker room, you know, in recruiting in uh, the last few years, we didn't take a lot of recruits in our old locker room. Uh, we'll take everybody in this one now. It's just beautiful. So expectations are really high for this team. Um, can you talk about that and if you're going to meet them or exceed them? Yeah, expectations are always high at UCLA men's basketball. And it has to be expected. But we, we really had a great summer. We go back and think about leading in this year, there's a, a lot to look forward to based on our trip to China, our practices, and we were able to practice 10 extra practices uh, in preparation for a foreign trip that you normally don't get. Uh, even working with our players this summer for the first time, we were allowed by the NC2A for the first time ever to work with your players during eight weeks of the summer, summer school, and uh, it was great. It was great for relationships. Uh, when our team improved during the summer, uh, I think our, our players are uh, really excited about the year. There was a great bonding that went on on that trip to China. Uh, so I think it really helped us as we uh, move in uh, you know, going forward now into this new season. With a lot of scrutiny going on last year, how do you uh, expect your team to be different from last year? Well, we're, I think uh, our returning players have all improved. And I'm really excited about the Ware Twins and their improvement from the end of last season uh, to now. Their, their strength, their size, uh, their aggressiveness, uh, just being a year older, a year more mature. I think that uh, both Tyler Lamb and Norman Powell showed great improvement in the offseason. They're both much improved and showed that in the trip to China. Uh, and then I, you know, I really like uh, Larry Drew and what he brings to the table. I wish we had him for more than one year uh, because he's really going to have a great senior season. He's a very good player and really played well for us. Uh, he's going to be a tough matchup for a lot of people. And then Josh returns for his junior year, and I think Josh had a, had a good uh, showing in the summer on our trip. And, uh, you know, he's a key for us because he's a, a very effective low post scorer, which was so hard to find. Are you happy? And then, then our new players, when you add the four new freshmen, uh, one of the best freshman classes in the country, uh, all extremely talented. Uh, you know, and those kids all mesh well together. The chemistry of those teams is as good as we've had uh, since I can remember. And uh, that's exciting because chemistry matters so much. These guys are really uh, a team and uh, very competitive, very focused, and uh, so it should be fun. What in China kind of led to that? Well, I think it wasn't just a trip to China. It was also leading up to that and being here all summer together and being able to work out together during the summertime, which is something that, again, that was new to this team. And, uh, and, and we have real good kids. I think that a lot of it is just these kids' personalities and how they're meshing together. And the trip of being on a foreign trip and doing everything together for a week straight the way we did and seeing things that you, you never would have seen otherwise probably unless you were a player uh, on the basketball team, being to Great Wall of China, going to Shanghai, meeting the people, being on the street. It, it was just a lot of fun for these kids. And uh, you could tell they really, uh, really enjoyed themselves. And it really brought them closer together. And also being stuck in the airport for seven hours on a layover. And, you know, you get to know each other really well. Having that summer and that workout, does that put you further down uh, uh, 
further ahead in terms of insulation, everything for practice now, starting in fall? It puts us, uh, having those practices really helped us get a head start on the season. I mean, to me, it's all, when I first got into coaching uh, many years ago, we started, the first game was always the day after uh, Thanksgiving, which is typically late November. Now we're starting November 9th, and every year it just moves up. And we needed that time, especially with the inexperience of having, you know, 40% of our team uh, essentially being freshmen they are going to play the major minutes. Uh, and so that, that helped us, no question. How, How do you, you think style of play is going to be affected? By we're really trying to play faster, Mark. It was one of the big uh, uh, implications of the summer was really trying to push the ball and take advantage of the fact that we have depth, but also of our speed and uh, you know our ability to run, especially the wares. The wares run so well as bigs. I think we can, uh, you know, pick up some extra uh, points, and, and we want to implement that moving forward. Uh, and so that's going to be big for us this year. How about minutes for? Do you think Josh's minutes will increase? Well, we'll, we'll just see. You know, part of him staying out of foul trouble. I mean, over in China, I think he probably averaged about 20. Uh, and so we'll just see where it goes. How do you keep some of the uncertainties from disrupting the focus of this team? You know, these kids, uh, you know, they're kids, they seem to stay very focused. Uh, and there's always going to be adversity, there's always going to be, uh, you know, uncertainty. Uh, you know, right, right now we're dealing with Tyler Lamb having an injury. He's going to miss probably the first month, uh, having had it uh, done on campus here on Tuesday. Uh, but uh, he should be back. Uh, and uh, you always have to deal with overcoming adversity as a player, as a team. Uh, and uh, that's something that uh, our players I think will do real nicely. Lamb missed the first month of the season, the first month of practice. Well, same thing. He'll he'll, he'll uh, be out, uh, and that's assuming everything goes great for about a month. And he had a surgery uh, yesterday. That won't encompass any games uh, at this point. Well, I, I, I don't know. How's Johnson's physical? Status. How is he weight-wise and conditioning? You know, Josh still has a lot of work to do there, and I think for you know Josh, he's in much better uh, condition, being able to run up and down, and uh, than he was a year ago at this time. Uh, but he still has a you know a ways to go from where we really ideally would like to have. How do the freshmen plan to factor into the tempo pace? Well, they did a good job this summer, and uh, you know, in order to play fast, you got to be in great physical shape. I think our uh, our uh, work and uh, the conditioning and, and also the summer really helps us there. But we, we still have a lot of work to do. And starting late, the way we do here on the quarter system, uh, you know, puts us a little behind where we would like to be right now in terms of conditioning. But overall, it's, it's fine. Kind of spots had the leg problems this summer. Is he okay? Yeah, he had an ankle sprain that was a really bad high ankle sprain. One of the worst I've ever seen. Uh, but it's back to normal now. And, He's had a little issue with his groin this week, but uh, he should be fine and ready to go uh, when we open up official practice on Friday. Have you been impressed with Shabazz, the young man, you know, just a freshman, the yeah, way he carries himself? Yeah, he's a great kid and uh, you know, has a, you talk about expectations, there's a lot of expectations heaped on his shoulders with all the notoriety that he, uh, you know, comes with, uh, right. having been named MVP in about every, uh, you know, poll last year for uh, seniors in high school. Uh, and, and he's really a good kid and uh, you know, he's, he's uh, worked very hard. And, and he's the kind of kid that when he gets an injury, he sustains something. He tries to play through it. And instead of, you know, it, it's uh, uncommon the way he handles it. He's trying to, you know, man up and just play through it. And sometimes, in the case of his ankle, it hurt him because it got worse because he didn't really say anything right away. Uh, but that's the kind of kid he is. What about Drew and just being able to run a team and having that guy, you know, he's had yeah. experience doing L that. Larry is a very, very uh, good point guard, played great for us this summer. Uh, I'm almost going to have to get on him to look to score a little more because he's so unselfish. And between him and Kyle, uh, we have two outstanding passers that are facil facilitators first. And uh, it became a thing where when we were in China, it was uh, it became infectious. Everybody became so unselfish on this team. It was just wonderful. I mean, that was so fun. 
to have our guys sharing the ball and making the extra pass and playing for each other. When you have a team that embraces that and does that, then you have a chance to really be good. How about Kyle defensively and the versatility? Can he guard different positions? Well, he's well? going to have to guard somewhat other than point. He has a hard time staying in front of a little guy like, for example, Larry June. Kyle, uh, when he is playing at the point offensively, which he will do some for us when Larry's not in there, will most likely end up matching up with a three. Uh, he could end up playing though, a three, a four, or two. I'm actually asking him to do the most in terms of offensively knowing multiple positions and playing multiple areas. Right. And uh, you know he's so good with the ball, you want to get him to get a lot of touches because he makes plays for others. So you have a lot, I mean, considering how versatile the wares are, plus him, plus your body, I mean, you have a lot of permutations there, I think. Yeah, it's a good problem. Yeah. I get a sense that your returning players might have a chip on their shoulder or feel like they've got something to prove. Yeah, I think it was disappointing last year, uh, our finish to the season uh, in particular. And so our guys, you know, like the wearers, normally when we finish the season, I tell them to take two weeks off and, you know, try to let their bodies rest and heal. And, uh, you know, when you're going through a long season, you know, six, seven months, and they took off like three days and they were right away back in the weight room. And, uh, and that's kind of where they are. They're, they, those two, Larry Drew, and uh, Norm Power in the best condition on our team of anybody. And the wears at 6'10 to be able to run the way they run, it's really incredible. And it's just a, uh, a, a tribute to their dedication and their work on and off the floor. And setting the tone for your freshman. Yeah, and they really do. And, uh, they've been great that way. Can you talk about the role that Norman's going to play for you guys? Yeah, Norman's going to play a very important role. I mean, I see Norman, uh, you know, going to play a lot of minutes at the wing. When he's, uh, for example, when Larry Drew's out of the game, he'll be the guy a lot of time that ends up matching up with the other team's point guard defensively, as he will be matching up against Larry a lot in practice defensively. Uh, so he's going to play some versatile uh, you know, roles for us, and uh, he's really improved. I mean, Norman played very good for us in China. The first two games uh, over in China against the university teams, he really shot the ball well. And, was more aggressive, you know. I was on him last year, not attacking the basket enough, not getting hit, fouled enough. And he, he's really improved a lot uh, between a year ago to now, and uh, he is a great kid, and uh, you know, he's really uh, worked hard. How would you rate? Um, what, you, what type of three-point shooting team do you think you're? I, I think that we're going to be a good three-point shooting team. Uh, I really do. I think that uh, we're much improved. I think the guys that return have really worked hard. I thought Tyler Lamb. Uh, you know, he's shooting the ball as well as I've ever seen him shoot it, uh, you know, as of a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so, you know, unfortunately he's going to be out for a month, but I expect him to get back to that. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, Larry's a good three-point shooter. I think Shabazz is a good three-point shooter. The Warriors can both shoot the ball well from the perimeter. Norman's a good three-point shooter. So I think we'll shoot pretty well. With the depth that you have on this team, are you guys going to try and mix up starting lineups, or are you going to try and stick with one? Yeah, we're going to play a lot of people, though. We're going to play nine or ten kids, and that's part of the, you know, we can play fast. Uh, and so we just want to get healthy and uh, be able to uh, do that. Uh, you know, we, the biggest key for us is staying healthy, and, uh, and sometimes you can't control all that, but uh, I'm very optimistic about the group. Uh, he's a nice kid. He's got a long way to go as a player. Uh, but uh, the players really like him and enjoy him on the team. And uh, you know, we're going to work with him, give him extra work. Uh, you know, he probably won't get a lot of reps during the practice, five on five. But uh, we're going to try to bring him along and help develop. Is Tony Parker someone that, that can play a meaningful role for you guys early? Or do you think yeah, he's going mean, to need to kind of get into Tony's it? Tony's going to... Uh, I, I think played an important role for us, and uh, you know uh, he has gotten in better condition since he's arrived. He's worked hard. Tony's got good hands. Uh, he's uh, he's going to be a very good player in time. You know, he's got work to do, like every player does. But I think Tony's going to be a real good player for us. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.